So I've decided to take this wired remote control truck from my childhood. It was uh, mid 80s, I think, maybe 88 it was made. Um, that expression, they don't make them like this anymore, really does hold true for this. All the functions work. Uh, the ladder goes up and down, left and right, extends and retracts. But I want to I want to modernize it. I want to make it web controllable. There we go. Uh, so that it can be driven via an app on a smartphone, controlled via home automation. Maybe put some sensors for cameras or IR sensors, or maybe program it to chase the cats around. Whatever it might be. Um, so this is going to be an interesting project to work through. because I have to take this, I just took the back off, um, I have to take this and replace it with a lot of relays. Like this. <laughs> um, and then build out all the logic to be able to control it via uh, RESTful services uh, API calls. Um, over to the server that'll be running inside of it and accessible via Wi-Fi. So I dissected this a little bit and I'll toss up some links, I guess, <laughs> to a blog page that will have some progress of the work. I'll go ahead and, and drop this uh, video out here for you now. Um, and you can watch as we get closer or further away from where we want to be. But I did want to show you just real quick what makes this a little more um, difficult than I thought it was going to be. I didn't realize at first I thought these were just going to be momentary switches that I would have to wire in for a relay so it's either open or closed. It's, it's not. Uh, the way it works is there's going to be uh, a normal state of each one of these buttons is basically like a, a, a two position relay. Either it's one direction or it's another. Uh, so when it's normally uh, off, it'll be uh, connecting and completing a circuit against here. And when it, the relay is on, it'll be the same as pushing this button and connecting the circuit over that way. And all this will be, uh, the relays I think would look nice on the side here. There's not enough room inside anyway unless I go to some uh, solid states, but I like the clicky noise. Anyhow, so uh, I'm, I'll probably put those here on either side and then I'll put the electronics inside. So I'll go ahead and get this posted up. Not a lot of edits, it'll be ugly, uh, and I'll keep you updated on the blog page. Um, and uh, I'll put those links below. Okay, bye.